Known are all the things that need to be known. I have discovered this all by myself, by my own effort. Having learned, you know, about renunciation and everything, having done this all by myself, whom can I call my teacher? Mm -hmm. And it's significant that this um, uh, Upaka looks at the Buddha and just says, it may be so. And he walks away. So we call this the first rebuff. <laughs> the first time the Buddha himself going to <coughs> preach this Dhamma and he is being told by somebody, I don't, I don't accept you. This morning, we are, have the privilege of uh, having uh, Uncle Vijaya together with us. Good morning. Suki Hotu to you. Suki Hotu. Okay. Thank you for coming for this interview. This is uh, probably the uh, Nobu's first video interview. Thank you. And we are very honored to have you as our first interviewee. And I'm honored to be <laughs> invited. Thanks. Okay, so actually, uh, Nobu, the uh, Buddhist AI chatbot, has been uh, around for one year. So recently, we cere celebrated our Asa, uh, anniversary on Asaha Puja Day, 21st of July. Yeah. Launch and officially globally launched in uh, Sanaf, India, you India. Know, where the Buddha first taught the Chak Dhamma Chakapa Vatana Sutta. Very auspicious. Unknowingly, we created Nobu and launched in Malaysia one year ago on July 22nd. Oh, coincidence. Unknowingly, that it was on Asaha Puja. Uh -huh. Unknowingly. So when um, the International Buddhist Confederation asked us when we launched it, we said 22nd July. He said, why do you choose Asaha Puja for your launch date? Then only I realized, oh, really? <laughs> I didn't know, you know. So, so many auspicious occasions. Huh? And uh, we thought of, uh, you know, uh, uh, commemorating uh, this occasion by also starting off a series of interviews to gain wisdom of, uh, you know, so-called Dharma Sifu like you, okay, to share your knowledge and wisdom on how to say, um, uh, what is, um, bring in your, your experience in Dharma Dutta, okay, and how we can incorporate some of your experiences into this Nobu so that it can be used as a more efficient Dharma Dutta tool, okay. So that is why the, the title of today's uh, uh, interview is the Buddhist AI bot as a Dharma Dutta tool, okay? How best to use it? Yeah, so I, I really appreciate if you can just share your experience, okay? So the first question uh, I would like to mm. ask you, uh, Uncle yes. Jaya, is uh, uh, let's talk about this uh, entrance point to Dharma. Entrance, right? Yeah. <coughs> In a temple, we know that, you know, the entrance point is a shrine hall. Mm. So when, a book, when people go and look at, uh, look at a Buddhist book, the first thing they see is the cover, right? Mm. That's the entrance point. So, for a Buddhist spot, what do you think is the entrance point for Dharma? Um, actually, when we ask about this, I, I, I feel, I, I think when this question was first posed to me, um, the first thing that came to my mind was the Buddha himself. When the Buddha had gained enlightenment and he had decided that he was going to now preach and share this uh, Dharma, uh, he also must have wondered, where do I start? Mm -hmm. All right? mm -hmm. And uh, something very beautiful happened, which was pointed out recently by a, a, a monk. Um, and that is, when the Buddha went out to start preaching, he really didn't know where to begin. Mm -hmm. All right? And the story goes that as he was this walking on towards Varanasi, uh, he meets Upaka, this ascetic, who's not a Buddhist, he's an ascetic. He's very impressed by the Buddha's presence. And uh, he asks the Buddha in traditional style, who is your teacher? Mm. And then the Buddha gives this, uh, uh, one writer called it, a bombastic claim. And the claim goes something like this. Known are all the things that need to be known. I have discovered this all by myself, by my own effort. Having learned, you know, about renunciation and everything, 
having done this all by myself, whom can I call my teacher? Mm -hmm. And it's significant that this um, uh, Upaka looks at the Buddha and just says, it may be so. And he walks away. So would you call this the first rebuff? <laughs> the first time the Buddha himself going to <coughs> preach this Dhamma and he is being told by somebody, I don't, I don't accept you. You see, now significantly the Buddha didn't get upset. The Buddha knew yeah, that this guy was not ready. Now that's, that's we have to keep entry point there. Mm. You see, he was not ready and he wasn't going to get into an argument with him. And the Buddha moves on. Now, what the Buddha was asking of Upaka was to believe in him out of faith. He are making all these bombastic claims. What? How do you know? Mm. How, how can I prove myself? You see? So, the approach of most religions is faith. Mm. All right? And the Buddha realized that, we think, that, that, that this is not the right approach. So, he goes on and he meets the five ascetics. And his approach is now no longer to ask, believe me because I am claiming so, otherwise you will be punished. On the other hand, the Buddha's approach was the new approach, which is look around you. This you cannot deny such things don't exist. I am not asking you to believe, I am asking you to observe. Observe reality. And what is this reality? Then he goes on to the uh, uh, four noble truths and so on. All right, but the entry point for that, and again, that again, the Buddha's uh, approach was quite high. He was talking about the middle path. He was talking about the four noble truths and all that. Why? Because the, because the ascetics were already very advanced. Mm. They were already themselves very spiritually ready for the last stage. So his approach then was almost a last stage approach as opposed to when he meets, for example, uh, Thigalo, uh, then he is Vyagapadja, these lay people. Yeah? And he doesn't use that approach. He just tells them how to behave towards Japan, how to be a good citizen, how to do all of this. And then they say, okay, I accept you. And then they become just beginning students mm. and then goes on. In many uh, sutras, the Buddha uses what we call, I will get this uh, word correct, uh, <coughs> yeah, anupubbikata. Anupubbikata is the technique used by the Buddha called graduated discourses, uh, meaning that he looked at the person. Is this person ready, even monks, that he didn't teach them all the high things necessarily. When he came to Sariputta Moggallana, okay, uh, he, he, he talks about the highest level of conditioning and non-conditioning. But when it comes to people like Sigala, he talks about how to behave towards your parents, towards society, whatever. So when we are talking about a... Uh, what do you call it, an entry point, we should keep this in mind. Out there, especially in today's society with about 8 billion people in the world, we have so many different, entirely different, take, take me for example, completely blind, illiterate when it comes to digital web. My, my generation is the last, yeah. <laughs> you see, yeah. and uh, I, I didn't know about Norbu and uh, wh whatever, we had to use a different system, all right? And that system was different, my time was different from the time maybe 500 years ago. Certainly during the Buddha's time was different again, that we used the oral method, then it became written, and now we are digitalized. So we need to keep in mind that in the world, there are all these different types of people who some can come quickly into it. Others may just stay on the periphery. All right? What we need 
is to have more people having a right understanding of Buddhism. They don't need to become call themselves Buddhist because Buddhism does not require that kind of a, con a religious commitment. Mm. What Buddhism requires is the transformation of the mind. Do good, avoid evil, purify the mind. That's all that Buddhism talks about. So how do we use skillful means? Mm. How do we use skillful means to be able to get anybody off the street? Yeah? Some are ready after years of karmic development. Some totally ready. Some, like the lotus flower, will never get off the ground. So we, how do we approach that? <coughs> okay? And I go back to Anupubhikata. Uh, many times it says here, I'll read this, yeah. 